Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be making these delicious looking strawberries. They are tahin strawberries. So if you guys are interested, please keep on watching. These are a few ingredients you're going to be needing. Powdered sugar, tahin, chamoy, baby lucas, pulparindos, and you can use pipettes if you would like. I will leave them linked below. I do buy them on Amazon. Of course, strawberries and a few other essentials. Now let's get started. To begin, I'm going to make my mixture that's going to be coated on the strawberry. I'm going to be adding tahin. I'm just eyeballing it. And I'm going to add one of the baby lucas. I did get sandia flavor, but you can get any flavor you would like. Mix that up. I feel like tahin by itself is just too, too salty. So adding in the little sweetness of the baby lucas kind of balances that all out. In a separate container, I'm going to be adding in my chamoy. Set that to the side. Now we're going to go ahead and continue with our pulparindos. Once again, I did get sandia flavor, but you can do any flavor you would like. For one strawberry, I usually use two of them, and I still usually have a little bit left over. So what you want to do is peel them. Depending on the flavor you get, sometimes they will have a white coating on them that is perfectly normal. As you can tell, this one has a bit more of that residue, but it is normal. What I'm going to go ahead and do is put this in the microwave. They were in there for 15 seconds, and what you want to do now is put powdered sugar on a flat surface. A little bit goes a long way and you want to go ahead and apply both of them on to your flat surface here you want to go ahead and get something that's going to help you flatten it out once you're doing that you want to go ahead and grab your strawberry you're going to need your chamoy and you're going to go ahead and add chamoy to your strawberry at this point your strawberry should be washed and dried Set that to the side and you're going to want to grab your pulparindo candy and you want to wrap it around. This axis here, you want to go ahead and remove. Once your strawberry is all coated, you want to go ahead and add another layer of chamoy. And you want to add your dry mixture. Here's a side by side, the coated strawberry versus the regular. We're going to go ahead and do the rest. Coated in chamoy. We're going to go ahead and grab our pulparindo and we're going to start coating it. Like I said, at this point you're just molding it into the strawberry shape. You want to go ahead and cut off the excess. At this point you're going to go ahead and dip it in chamoy again. A 
Let's do another one together. Add your chamoy. Grab your culparindo. And you want to be firm with the strawberry. You want to go ahead and remove the access. At this point, you want to go ahead and add in your chamoy. Hey. Hey. And you want to add in your dried ingredients and that's how that looks and now for one of my favorite parts we're gonna go ahead and use our pipettes for the chamoy the trick is that you want to turn it around, remove all the excess air, and refill it again. That way you get a fuller pipette. And it's pretty simple to insert. All you want to do is go to the side of the strawberry and just put in your pipette. So these are how the strawberries turned out and guys they look delicious i've been eyeballing one since i made it so i'm gonna go ahead and take a little bite for you guys i am so excited i would highly recommend you guys try this at home here's how the strawberry looks super yummy so you want to go ahead and take a little bite mm. bomb so good and for the chamoy all you have to do is press it can you guys see it in there that's how the pipe it works this is going to be the end of today's video if you guys did like today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys all in my next video